we're going to be using these one inch wide eye to eye slings. I always recommend you buy these in pairs. We have this made for us from a company in Wisconsin, VD Slings. So in these, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve foot in this style sling. Most places don't have three and five and seven. So we're going to come around this way. They are re they are very reasonable. I don't know the price, but slings are not that expensive considering the work they do. These slings are rated to about two thousand pounds per sling. So the way we're lifting, you could lift almost two tons. Now this setup would never lift two tons. This is a one ton hoist. And the, you know, my design tripod, I would not recommend trying to lift over, well, I've lifted 1500 with just pushing it, but a thousand pounds is safe for sure, which is most monuments. Okay, so there it is, two equal and opposite opposing choke hitches. Now I'm gonna hitch this up here. Let me just tighten this up a little bit. Now before you do any lifting, you want to take a look and you want to make sure that the basic setup is basic uh, is 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 not wonky or like it, your eye will be called attention to it. If it's uh, off, you're gonna see right away. So like look at if you're standing in the right place. If it looks like that, you can just tell it doesn't look right. Like see what I'm saying? Okay. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Now the other thing is this this chain. You could look at this one. This is exactly plumb. Okay, that's where it has to hang because it's like a plumb bob. And so wherever this is hanging from is going to draw it to it, um, and that's what's going to happen when I start to lift. Now with a setup like this, the one thing you got to keep in mind is that it only will really go forward and backward with any kind of extensive movement. Just pull that out to, to around that leg at the point, right at the bottom. Yep. No, no, just out the outside, right there. That's all I need. Okay, if we lift something and go beyond that line, the tripod will flip over, okay? Because that's the stance. We can't lift something past the stance or it'll pull it over. So it's made to go forward and backward. That's why I set it up with the two legs on this side. It could have been the opposite, but it has to go forward or backward, okay? So if it's a manufactured tripod, we could work any direction equally in theory. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is start to raise I'm going by the upper portion, so it is depending on that hanging on there, um, but I'm quite confident it'll be okay. Um, I could pick it up in another way, but I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. I'm going to keep it right there so it doesn't, okay? So now we're up, and now if I just bring it this way a little, I can land it. Okay. Now I'll lift it again to move it back a little. I'll show you another trick to move that leg there. I can do this and that'll come back. Then I can walk this leg back. Okay, and now I can lift it again. I'm just getting a little more working room. 